All right, next up is Hissain Idris. Hissain enjoys new challenges and has got mad love for working with big databases. He is a part-time YouTube blogger and full-time soccer player. How are you guys doing? Come on, guys. How are you guys doing tonight? back in place. My name is Hussein Idris. I'm here to talk about socially active media and tell you a bit more about my background. Next. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone has, almost everyone has social media now. We have all, uh, like, globally there are more than 200 billion people using the internet worldwide and almost 80% of those people using social media, different types of media. Anyone doesn't have a social media account? Raise your hand. Okay, um, DJ, is the bouncer around? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Social media is super important. This is how you interact with people, this is how you talk to your family, this is how you talk to your friends. However, there are two schools of thought. Some people say social media affecting the human connection, affecting the human experience. You are losing touch with people, you are losing that connection. But on the other hand, there is a group of people who actually say social media improving our life, making our life better, creating a better connection with other people. So we have two schools of thoughts. So in order to tell you more about my experience with social media, I need to tell you a bit about my background. Now, I come from the country in the middle of Africa, it's called the Republic of Chad, which we speak two languages, French and English. Oh, thank you so much. My person knows Chad, excellent. And then from there, I actually, my parents moved to Saudi Arabia for work, and I grew up there, then I went to Malaysia to go for college, now I'm in Canada. So I don't know where I come from. <laughs> Why so many countries? There's so many reasons. Uh, political, uh, education, there's so many different challenges I went through that kind of had me go through those different places. How it affected me, it helped me understand different cultures, different challenges that are happening globally, especially in the Middle East, the country in the red, is called Syria. Now, I'm sure a lot of people have seen the next slide, which is a lot of people leaving certain countries, whether, especially nowadays, is Syria, because Syria has the biggest humanitarian crisis. Now, there are different reasons why people do that, and it's not the first time it actually happened. It happened in the past, it happened during the different uh, wars, etc. But all of us as human beings, we have seen this. We have seen people going through these challenges. So two questions uh, come to mind. Whenever we see these kind of pictures, why we see these pictures? And the second question is, what we can do about it? Now, about why we see these pictures, I can't tell you why. Because there are different reasons, different challenges. It's bigger than us. But what we can control is, what can we do about it? What can we do about it based on our knowledge, our experience, our skills, our hobbies, all the things that we go through life, how can we help other people who come from different backgrounds? So we decided, uh, me and my brother, to make a difference. So we decided to set up a website, talk about people who are traveling from one country to another, and tell them the safest way to do it, because a lot of people endanger themselves on those goals. So the website went quite well, but we, keep, we couldn't find that human connection. So we said, how about we set up a YouTube channel? Sounds simple, speak in front of the camera, no one can see you, like you guys. <laughs> so, and we talked, and we decided YouTube because it has the highest number, a uh, second highest number of viewing in the world, in the Middle East. So we decided to talk about different countries. We talked about Germany, and how can we move to Germany? How to find universities in Germany? Suddenly, we saw like 50,000 people saw that video. Amazing. We started to talk about different countries. We talked about Spain, we talked about uh, South Africa, Canada. One of the reasons why I'm here, because I'm, I did my research about Canada. And before we know it, a lot of people managed to find that kind of information because there is a huge language barrier and a huge cultural barrier. So, what we do, we try to kind of bring those connections together. Then we decided to kind of go into a different direction. We started talking about IT, and we focused about certain areas that people in IT don't talk about. For example, women in technology. Why there are like over 60% 60, 60 of graduates are women, but 10% are working in the IT industry. So we explored those areas, trying to figure out what kind of solution we can find for 
people in those uh, countries and cultures. So uh, I've managed to find my uh, my uh, hobby, um, hobby, sorry, through social media. And uh, my friend Spider-Man said once, "I'm great power comes great responsibility." All of us have uh, the ultimate power, which is knowledge, and it's very important for us to share it with our communities, with our friends, with, uh, with people we don't know, because power is the ultimate. Uh, uh, responsibility to share it with others. So, share, share, share the knowledge, share the love, and thank you all.